Cantor was married to uh, my lovely bride, Paula, who is the president of the Monroe County Humane Society. Thank you, Bill. And I've got three great kids, Cameron, Morgan, and Brandon. For 12 years, I've been serving the city. I started on the Planning Commission, the Street Graphics Committee, learning how the city works, learning on those boards, and uh, helping out with the master development plan, or the master plan, and uh, learning how ordinances work throughout the city. After that, I became an alderman in Ward 3. I was the uh, chairman of the uh, Finance Committee, streamlined the budget process, and um, worked with uh, Mayor Schneider at the time to uh, fine-tune the budget and find any and all cost savings that we could find at that time, and that has continued over the last six years. Then I was elected mayor, and as mayor, we have continued to look for revenue sources. We've uh, been looking for grant money. We uh, received uh, numerous grants totaling well in excess of a million dollars over the last six years. Because of the positioning through the Planning Commission, Street Graphics Committee, all, um, Alderman, Mayor, going to different organizations, thinking regionally, I uh, was positioned to uh, be elected as the uh, treasurer of the Southwest Illinois Council of Mayors, which is a uh, group of uh, over 40 cities that represent this area. I am now the vice president of that organization. That has given me a seat on the uh, East West Gateway Council of Government. This is the group that oversees all of the federal spendings that come into the entire St. Louis metro region. Because of those seats, we were able to receive um, over $300,000 in the first round of the stimulus money. So that's money that won't come out of your tax dollars to, uh, or your personal property tax here in Columbia dollars to uh, um, redo the uh, Corey Palmer Road for Route 3 access. I've also uh, sat on the uh, Western Egyptian Economic Opportunity Council, which is the senior nutrition site here in Columbia. That has always been a priority of mine to uh, make sure that we have a place for seniors and for the community to meet. We were able to, when uh, the one side was in jeopardy, move to the, uh, the unit building, and now that that site is in jeopardy, that's the number one priority to find a new location for the seniors to enjoy camaraderie and have a place to uh, convene and meet. I also serve the community on uh, Gowanus and as an assistant scoutmaster. Thank you very much. Here. Thanks for having me here tonight. Uh, I know it's St. Patrick's Day and I know there's other places to be. I really appreciate you being here. I want to introduce myself. My name is Gerald McCarty Jr. I'm running for mayor here in City of Columbia. I'm 55 years old. I'm a business owner. I've lived in Columbia a total of 37 years. I worked for City of Columbia for 14 years. I was named Director of Public Works at the age of 31. In that capacity, I was in charge of many large projects, which improved the city utilities and services and saved the city taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. We were very proud of the fact that no job was too big or unusual that we couldn't learn how to do it ourselves. We kept a lot of work inside the city and paid the city a lot of money. After working for the city, I went for the American Dream. I started my own business, which I've been doing for the last 21 years. I gained leadership experience starting at an early age with the city and later on as a business owner. I have learned how to work with people in all capacities, how to work with various budgets, to be creative in getting things done not talking about getting them done. And I learned how to get the most out of a dollar. Also, one of the challenges the city faces is growth. I intend to work with surrounding cities in promoting growth and development, while at the same time, I will protect the Columbia's well-being. I will not, I'll keep outside interest from dictating how we will spend our taxpayers' money. Another challenge is our budget. With revenues being down, we need to tighten spending and cut the fat. I intend to look at legal fees, engineering fees, and administration costs, and department budgets, and also eliminating outsourcing whenever possible, keeping jobs here in Columbia, and also saving money at the same time. Um, like I said, that's all I got to say. All right, Dennis. 
I admire everyone in this room here tonight. The citizens that have taken their time to come out, all of the candidates, not only for city offices, but for, for school board because of the time they give and, and the dedication that they show. I became a high school principal when I was 26 years old. I became a high school principal because I didn't like the high school principal I had. I didn't think he supported teachers, and I didn't think the parents trusted him. I decided to run for mayor for one reason, and I've heard many, many reasons why I supposedly am running, but I'm running because I want to be the kind of mayor that our citizens want. My wife and I, over Christmas, talked about that we were part of the group of people, many of us, who are complaining about the way things are going in Columbia. And I remember what my dad told me a long time ago, to be the part of the problem or part of the solution. And I was reading an article in a magazine, and it said, don't sit on the sidelines and complain. Get involved if you don't like the way things are going. I have 27 years serving as a high school principal. I've lived in Columbia 27 years. Been retired for five. I'm a 34-year retired educator, and I was Columbia High School principal for 22 years. And during that time, I dealt with all sorts of personnel problems, budget problems, cutting budgets, developing budgets, evaluating staff, on all of the things that I think are important for any administrator, whether it be a mayor or a school administrator. I thought a lot about why I'm running for mayor and why the other people are running for mayor. And, and so today I looked up an old Irish blessing, trying to find something that can say, why are you running for mayor? So I found this one. We are all on this earth together, fight not on your own behalf, but for the sake of others. That's why I'm running for mayor, to fight for the sake of others, to fight for the community, and I'm sure that's why everyone here is running for mayor. What I can add as mayor is lots of experience. I've had many, many experiences, a lot of positive, a few negative experiences. As a high school administrator, I don't think there's any problem out there that I haven't or had to deal with. I felt like I had the greatest job in the world taking care of the students of Columbia High School. I'm not related to a lot of people from Columbia, even though my kids have grown up here, but I can say I feel like I'm related because I had your kids here and many of you here for four years and had the great honor of working with you. Thank you.